It's an honor and a privilege to stand before you today. I believe this is the fifth and biggest graduation class to date. Congratulations in order. As uh, uh, Mrs. Bibi said, uh, so yes, as she has indicated, my name is Verogenis. I was born and raised here in St. Vincent and the Grandines, and I now reside in Pennsylvania, USA, where I'm a software engineer and consultant, doing consultant work both on my job and in my business. Before we get started this evening, I wanted to share with you that my family was a bit concerned that I would probably melt having learned of the record-breaking heat here in SVG due to the climate change. But I assure you, I assure you not to worry, because I am in good hands. Uh, graduates of Ease Catering and Deco who will ensure that I rise to the occasion similarly to the cakes and pastries you've been dealing with for the past several weeks. Yes, determination is indeed the key to success. In fact, when I learned that there was sampling of cakes after the graduation ceremony, I was determined to be here as I have a weakness for sweetness. So here I am. And I promise to talk for, not for long, <laughs> because I know what's waiting on the other side. Is it in the annex or over there? Oh, it's in the annex. So I'm looking forward to that part. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yes. On a more serious note, however, success begins with education. One of the great business philosophers of our time, Jim Rohn, said, and I quote, formal education will make you a living, and that's fine. Self-education or specialized education, as in our graduates today, will make you a fortune, and that's super fine. End quote. And so I applaud all of you for taking this first step. By taking this step, you have positioned yourself for a better future for you and your families. So as you plan and set your goals for what to do next, you want to ensure that your current circumstances push you while your goals pull you to your better future. Now that you've learned your craft, now that you are in the know, as Mr. Rohn called it, philosophy, the first of the five majors of life or in life, you don't want to stay there. You don't want to stop there. I recommend that you practice the other four majors as well. I'll go through the, the, the other four majors relatively quickly. They are as follows. So one, of course, is philosophy. You know stuff. You, you have a new skill. And the second one being attitude, how you feel about life, how you feel about others, and most importantly, how you feel about yourself. Three, activity. You've got to do the work. Nothing works unless you do. Four, results. Life expects us to show measurable progress in reasonable time. That reasonable time could be end of the day, end of the week, end of the month, and of course, end of the year. Keep in mind that results is the name of the game. You want to let your results fashion for you the good life. Which brings me to the, to the fifth and final major in life, and that is lifestyle. Now that you've been educated, now that you've developed a skill, don't stay there. Don't just drift with the times. Refinement of intellect is where the future fortune lies. Life is not just the passing of time. It's a collection of experiences. If you want to be happy, study happiness. If you want to be wealthy, study wealth. Study, learn, grow, change. You get better with change, not by chance. As you change, Everything will change for you. Jim Rowan. He also said, from testimonials and personal experience, we have enough information to conclude that it's possible to design and live an extraordinary life. As you set out on this journey, you will encounter challenges and some setbacks. But whenever you get knocked down or knocked out of the game, please don't stay there. It's how fast you get back up that will determine your success. The motivation and inspiration to get up or to get back up and running, as we see in the computer in lingo, may come from the strangest of situations. I recall back in the States when I was going to college, I commuted daily from Brooklyn, New York, to Woodbridge, New Jersey, 
three different trains and a bus to get to school for 7.30 a.m. I woke up at 4 a.m. every day. And one day, I woke up, but I didn't feel like going to school. And my sister, Annette, for those of you who know Annette, she said to me, all you gotta know what you're getting into before you get into it. I felt badly when she said that. It appeared that was the jolt, charge, or pick-me-up that I needed because after she said that, I was determined to show her that I knew what I was getting into before I got into it. I never stayed home again. And instead, of, instead, I worked diligently towards attaining my degree in computer information systems. You find that the person next to you is not your competition. You are. You are your competitor. Your goal is to be all that you can be. To become all that you can become. You will also encounter some difficulties. But I want to assure you that it is all part of the process that leads to your greatness. And so I leave you with this poem. It is called The Race, found in the book, Finishing Strong by Steve Ferrara. It's a pretty long poem. And um, in fact, in the book, the first couple verses yeah, were missing. So it goes like this. Defeat, he lived here silently. A tear dropped from his eyes. There's no sense running anymore. Three strikes, I'm out while trying. The will to rise had disappeared. All hopes fled away. So far behind, so error prone, closer all the way. I've lost, so what's the use, he thought. I live with mine disgraced. But then he thought about his dad, who soon he'll have to face. Get up and echo sound the look. Get up and take your place. You are not meant for failure here, so get up and win the rest. With borrowed will, get up, it said, you haven't lost at all. For winning is not more than this, to rise each time you fall. So up he rose to win once more, and with a new commit, he resolved that win or lose, at least he wouldn't quit. So far behind the others now, the most he'd ever been, still he gave it all he had and ran as though to win. Three times he'd fallen stumbling. Three times he rose again. Too far behind to hope to win, he still ran to the end. The chair of the winning runner as he crossed first placed, head high and proud and happy, no falling, no disgrace. But when the falling youngster crossed the line last placed, the crowd gave him the greater chair for finishing the race. And even though he came in last, with head bowed low and proud, he would have thought he won the race to listen to the crowd. And to his dad, he sadly said, I didn't do so well. To me, you won, his father said. You rose each time you fell. And now, when things are dark and hard and difficult to face, the memory of that little boy helps me in my race. For all of life is like that race with ups and downs and all. And all you need to do to win is rise. Each time you fall, quick, give up, you're beaten. They still shout in my face, but a little voice within me says, Get up and win that race. Determination is indeed the key to your success. Before you go home today, I would like for you to ponder on the, ponder on the following. Uh, in, in ancient script, someone asks the master, How can he be great? And the master replied, Find or seek, find a way to serve the many. Put another way, service to many leads to greatness. With your new skill, you have the potential to serve many and be great. With that, I thank you for your time, for your precious time. It's been a privilege and a pleasure to chat here with you. Thank you. Thank you.